Hi, this is Earl again. I've got one of my all-time favorite cars. Uh, that is a, a very, very nice one. In that it only has 32,000 miles on it. Original. And it is an Excalibur. Fainting with the rear seat and, uh, and a hardtop that goes on it also. Right now we're driving it with a convertible top. And uh, I'm just giving you a little ride down the road to let you know what it kind of feels like and looks like inside. It's, um, as you well know, Excalibur is a factory built car. It's not a kit. And therefore it's a, it's a, a well built car. It's a 1981 Corvette chassis that has been revised to fit um, the look of this car. And uh, so it's basically a generic car. You can, uh, any mechanic can work on it. It's nothing more than a 350 motor in it and uh, GM tra drivetrain. So all of that being said, um, nothing garners the looks that um, this car gets. Um, I've driven many different cars. This is the all-time leader. The only one that's close is the Auburn Bowtail Speedster. Now I know these cars are selling for $59,000 and $69,000. There's one on there for $99,000. We're asking $39,900 for it. And uh, I think that's a, a, a good price for a great car. This happens to be a great car. Everything in it works, including air conditioning, uh, heater, you know, seat belts, horn, wipers, everything works in this car. So, just gonna let you ride around with us a little bit to get the feel of uh, Excalibur. And uh, I'm gonna take some more still pictures. And uh, that's it. I think uh, if you're looking for one of these cars, this is probably one of the nicest ones on the market today for a reasonable price. And I underline for a reasonable price. So um, go ahead, ride along with us for a minute or two, and uh, you can see what we got here. Right now we're in downtown Beaufort, South Carolina, where the car is located. And if you like to drive around and drive around on something that uh, you're going to get a lot of conversation with, this is certainly that car. All right, I'm going to park it here in a minute and um, take some still pictures. And uh, I believe I'll take a still video of it too. I'll just walk around it and give you some ideas and put the camera where you're you can see everything that's supposed to be seen on this car. All right. I'll... Can't, can't stop. Okay, I've stopped here. And uh, I'm going to take a walk around video and show you the car. Um, the dashboard, as you can see, the aftermarket radio, a better radio than what came with these cars. Um, very expensive floor mats fitted to this car. All other interior, which is perfect. So this will give you some idea of uh, the way this car looks. Many people look at it uh, as you're driving down the street and there's just a ton of people asking questions about it and so on and so forth. Now this does come with a full 
hard top that when you put the convertible top down you can set the hard top on it and you've got a completely weathertight uh, car for if you're driving in cold extremely cold weather um, tires are brand new they are period correct tires for it they are cokers and they are 3 inch white ones give you a quick picture of the motor compartment and there you go Now again, if you do the math, um, 32,000 miles in 35 years is less than 1,000 miles a year. Uh, it's pretty remarkable. Um, not that most of these cars have a lot of miles on them. Um, they don't. They're, you know, they're not driven... Uh, very hard and beat up. This has power windows and air conditioning which work perfectly. The windows all go up and down without any issues. Um, the paint on this car is in very nice condition. I suggest a good uh, rub in the wax. This is uh, almost a, a barn fine type of car. Um, has the boot in the back for when the top is down. I think we showed you pictures of that. And um, those lock just like so. Uh, it's got a good heavy bumper system on it that, uh, um, unlike any other car that's built. Um, one of the things that I noticed that I would change, uh, now this car is just, you know, the age of it is I would take the wood off, take three screws a piece, and put a new coat of varnish on, and and um, uh, put them back on, which would take you back to the wood. Uh, I also had an idea, if you took these off and painted them the same color as the body of the car, I think it would be an interesting look and make it look a little distinctive. Um, really not much to say about this car because of uh, um, its low, low mileage for year. Um, that's pretty hard to, uh, pretty hard to find these days. Um, oh, I just want to give you, give you a look of it. Let's just see what's, what it's all about. I'm going to take some still pictures so you can zoom in and zoom out and kind of kind of get your own feel for the car. And uh, I'm going to do that now. <laughs> 